For years, people have talked about a secret U.S. jet so fast and so advanced that it sounded like pure science fiction. Governments denied it. Officials stayed silent. But now, a stunning admission from the U.S. Air Force has changed everything. The whispers were true. There is a hypersonic aircraft flying in the shadows, faster and higher than anything we've ever been told about. And its name? The SR-91 Aurora. Why would the Air Force keep a plane like this hidden for decades? How fast can it really go? And what missions has it already completed without the world knowing? The answers are as shocking as the revelation itself. This isn't just another military aircraft. It's a game changer that could rewrite the balance of power in the skies. And now the truth is finally breaking through the secrecy. The legacy of the SR-71 Blackbird to understand why the SR-91 Aurora matters, we must revisit its predecessor, the SR-71 Blackbird. Developed by Lockheed's Skunk Works in the 1960s, the SR-71 was the fastest air-breathing manned aircraft ever built, capable of cruising at Mach 3.2 and flying above 85,000 feet. For decades, it served as America's ultimate reconnaissance tool outrunning enemy missiles and collecting intelligence deep inside hostile territory. However, even the SR-71 had limitations. Its titanium construction was advanced for its time, but the aircraft required enormous maintenance, consumed fuel at incredible rates, and could only sustain Mach 3 for limited durations due to extreme heat stress. By the 1990s, the Blackbird was retired officially due to high operational costs and advances in satellite surveillance. Yet many in the defense community believe its retirement was strategically timed to make way for a more advanced replacement. The gap left by the SR-71 was not something the U.S. military would allow to remain for long. Intelligence gathering at hypersonic speeds offers unmatched advantages. The Aurora, if real, would be the logical successor, a platform that could not only match but exceed the Blackbird's performance with next-generation stealth, propulsion, and endurance. First signs of the Aurora program. The first tangible hints of the Aurora emerged in 1989, when the Los Angeles Times reported that the name Aurora had appeared in a U.S. defense budget document alongside billions of dollars in funding for black aircraft projects. While the listing was vague, the sudden appearance of this code name sparked speculation among aviation watchers. Many suspected it referred to a high-speed reconnaissance aircraft in development by Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works. In the early 1990s, unusual sightings began surfacing. Residents in Southern California and Nevada, especially near Edwards Air Force Base, reported hearing deep, pulsing skyquakes, unlike conventional sonic booms. British aviation journalist Bill Sweetman was one of the first to compile these reports suggesting that the noise could be caused by an advanced propulsion system known as a pulse detonation wave engine, or scramjet. These engines could potentially propel an aircraft to speeds beyond Mach 5. Adding to the mystery, satellite imagery reportedly captured strange contrails over the Pacific, showing patterns inconsistent with known aircraft flight profiles. The unique donut-on-a-rope vapor trails hinted at an exotic engine type something far beyond the capabilities of even the SR-71. Hypersonic propulsion and design. If the Aurora exists, its defining feature is believed to be its hypersonic propulsion system. Unlike turbojets or even ramjets, a scramjet engine allows combustion to occur at supersonic airflow speeds, enabling sustained flight above Mach 5. This would allow the Aurora to cross continents in under two hours and operate at altitudes exceeding 100,000 feet well above conventional air defenses. Design-wise, analysts speculate that the Aurora could employ a sleek, triangular, or wedge-shaped body to reduce drag and manage extreme heat loads at hypersonic speeds. Heat-resistant composite materials, possibly ceramics or advanced carbon-carbon structures, would be essential to protect the airframe from temperatures that can exceed 1,000 degrees Celsius during sustained hypersonic flight. Additionally, stealth is almost certainly a part of the equation. A hypersonic aircraft traveling at incredible speeds would still need to minimize radar signature to avoid early detection. The Aurora's design likely integrates radar-absorbent materials and carefully sculpted surfaces to scatter incoming radar waves. 
giving it a massive edge in reconnaissance and penetration missions. Possible missions and capabilities. The Aurora would be a game changer in reconnaissance. Traveling at hypersonic speeds, it could overfly hostile territory before enemy defenses could react, collecting imagery, electronic signals, and real-time battlefield intelligence. Unlike satellites, which follow predictable orbits, the Aurora could be deployed rapidly, making it unpredictable and far harder to track. Its altitude capabilities would also allow it to operate above most missile engagement envelopes. Even if detected, intercepting an aircraft moving at Mach 5 Plus would be nearly impossible with current missile technology. This would give the U.S. military unmatched global reach, capable of responding to crises anywhere in the world within hours. Some analysts even speculate the Aurora could serve as a testbed for next-generation strike capabilities, delivering precision weapons at hypersonic speeds. This would make it not only a surveillance platform, but also a potential first-strike asset in high-stakes conflicts. Sightings and Evidence Over the Years Over the decades, multiple sightings have added to the Aurora legend. In 1991, a Scottish oil worker reported seeing a fast-moving, delta-shaped aircraft refueling from a KCA 135 tanker over the North Sea. The craft was unlike anything in service at the time. In the mid-1990s, photographers captured images of strange triangular aircraft at high altitude over California's Mojave Desert. Perhaps the most compelling pieces of evidence are the unusual sonic booms recorded over the U.S. and Europe. These booms did not match the signature of any known aircraft, and their timing often coincided with military exercises or classified operations. Some reports even suggest the Aurora has been spotted operating out of the infamous Area 51 in Nevada, a location synonymous with experimental aircraft testing. Despite the mounting evidence, official acknowledgement remained elusive until now. Recently, former defense contractors and Air Force personnel have hinted that the Aurora is operational, though details remain classified. Their statements align with decades of unexplained sightings and mysterious atmospheric disturbances. The recent declaration. The turning point came when high-ranking U.S. Air Force officials, speaking under conditions of partial declassification, confirmed that a hypersonic reconnaissance platform is indeed part of America's defense arsenal. While they avoided using the name Aurora, the description of the craft's speed, altitude, and stealth capabilities matches the decades-old rumors. This partial admission is likely a strategic move. By revealing the Aurora's existence without disclosing full technical details, the U.S. sends a clear message to potential adversaries. America possesses unmatched reconnaissance and rapid response capabilities. It also serves as a deterrent suggesting that any hostile action could be observed and responded to almost instantly. The confirmation has ignited debate among defense analysts. Some believe this is a controlled leak designed to intimidate rivals, while others think it's a prelude to unveiling a new generation of hypersonic aircraft. Either way, the acknowledgement marks a historic moment in aviation history, ending decades of speculation. For years, the SR-91 Aurora was dismissed as nothing more than a rumor a ghost of aviation that existed only in classified budgets and eyewitness accounts. But now, with credible admissions from military officials, the line between myth and reality has blurred. The Aurora represents not just a leap in technology, but a reminder that the U.S. Air Force's most advanced capabilities are often hidden in plain sight. Whether operating as a pure reconnaissance platform or a multi-role hypersonic strike asset, the Aurora's existence changes the strategic balance. It shows that America continues to push the limits of speed, altitude, and stealth, well beyond what is publicly acknowledged. And if history is any guide, the technology behind the Aurora will shape the future of aerospace for decades to come. The legend is no longer just a legend. The Aurora is real, and the sky will never be the same again. If you found this video of the SR-91 Aurora fascinating, share this video with fellow aviation enthusiasts, hit that like button, and subscribe for more incredible stories from the world of military aviation. The truth is out there, and we're here to uncover it.